This unusual balance has two levers instead of one. They are linked by a parallelogram-shaped construction. Loading platforms are attached to the vertical planes of a parallelogram. The load of 20 grams upsets its equilibrium. If we place two identical loads on the platforms, they equilibrate each other. Now let us move one of the loads to the edge of the platform. The equilibrium is not upset, in spite of the fact that the shoulder of the load has practically doubled. Can it be that the lever rule doesn't work anymore? Let us recall why in case of a usual lever, the long shoulder load outweighs the identical one on the short shoulder. When the lever gets tilted, the load on the right side goes down to a greater distance than the load on the left side goes up. That is why the system's center of gravity moves to a lower point. But the center of gravity always tends to take the lowest point in the system, so the lever will continue moving down. If we turn our unusual parallelogram to one side, both loads will cover the same distance up and down accordingly, and the gravity center will remain in its place. This balance is in a state of a neutral equilibrium. Let's make another experiment. We'll attach a force sensor to the base of the balance and connect it to the left side of the parallelogram by means of a thread. In order to prevent the load from shaking during the movement along the right platform of the balance, we'll put it on a trolley. The weight of the trolley and the mug is 6 newtons. If we pull at the thread, we can see that although the load is moving away from the balance axis, the force sensor readings hardly change. But it's clear that the moment of force created by the balance is increasing. Why does the equilibrium force remain the same? The overall weight of the loads is balanced by the vertical force exerted to the levers on their axis side. The difference of the moments of the two forces on the left and on the right side should be able to turn the balance beam clockwise. But it is suspended on two axes instead of one. They produce equal horizontal forces one of which is directed to the right and the other one to the left. So the moment created by the load on the unequal shoulders is fully compensated by the moment of these forces. The balance which incorporates a parallelogram shaped construction is convenient because its weighing pans, platforms, are impossible to upset. Also, the result of weighing does not depend on where exactly the load is placed. This kind of balance was invented by a French scientist, Gilles Persson de Roberval. He presented it at a meeting of a newly created Paris Academy of Sciences in 1669. Their further modifications turned out to be very widely used.